Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's the Hi-Fi Brothers. Do you have CDs that are collecting dust? Have you ever thought about revitalizing your CDs, buying a new CD player? Let's get to it. Well, all right, everybody, welcome to today's episode. Just to give you guys a backstory, uh, Emotiva, they reached out, they saw some of our videos doing it on the amps, and uh, they said, hey, we'd love for, to send you guys a, a CD player uh, for you guys to review. And I responded, I was like, a CD player? Never thought about doing one on CD players, Ralph. Me, neither have I, but I tell you what, that the CD player that we're about to review is it's actually a really, really good CD player. Cool, yeah, so the CD player that we're talking about today is the Emotiva ERC4. While I go do the unboxing for you, Ralph is going to give us some tech specs. So we'll put the put some bullet points up on the uh, screen for you guys as he's doing that. Yeah, so I mean, Emotiva knew what they're doing with the unboxing. They had, uh, they stuffed it pretty well. Um, so whenever it's shipped, you know, you don't have to worry about anything. It comes with an instruction manual, uh, which is pretty standard for these products. And uh, yeah, right here, <laughs> I, uh, this is the first thing that I noticed immediately when I pulled it out was the remote. This <laughs> remote was, like my first impression was, man, this thing is a brick. It is super high quality. I mean, like just super metal. Um, we'll, we'll get into that in a little bit. But yeah, I mean, it's uh, wrapped in a nice cloth. And um, yeah, they just did a really good job with the packaging. So if you're gonna go ahead and buy one of these products, um, and get it shipped. Uh, Emotiva does a really nice job with uh, with shipping that package. Once you take the cloth out, you have yourself a really uh, nice looking CD player. Just highlight here, Ralph, and you can chime in when you when you want. But you know, Emotiva, it's kind of that classic Emotiva look, mm -hmm. which very much resembles their amps. So for those of you that are uh, that are familiar with their amplifiers, it looks almost identical to the build quality of their amps. It's got that very shiny aluminum, you know, aluminum faceplate, and then the rest of it's just metal. So it's super high quality design, and uh, yeah, I absolutely thought it was a, uh, a good looking product. So as you see, uh, there's a dedicated. Uh, this is a dedicated CD player that plays standard CDs and hybrid SA CDs, uh, which means it will play SA CDs uh, with uh, stereo tracks. Other thing to note, um, analog RCA out and XRR out, which is really good. Um, it also has coax, optical, and a feature called AES EBU, which basically it's it's a good output if you have uh, any type of balanced input and output. It's really good. Also, it has a PCM digital audio up to 24 to 192 kilohertz, which is really good for high quality sound. Also acts as a DAC for digital audio inputs via coaxial and optical, uh, which will work on your computer or your cell phones, etc. Yeah, and that's the one thing that caught me by surprise too, Ralph. You know, I thought it was just a dedicated C player, which it really is, right? Mm -hmm. But the fact that it has an onboard DAC, if you have something that can connect to the CD player, now you have uh, a dedicated DAC player already that's added to your home theater system. So this is kind of like a nice two-in-one product. Yeah. Um, that's kind of the best way that I can describe it. But And Ralph, you want to read that again, the tech Ab specs? Absolutely. So basically, it has a solid aluminum face, uh, which you just covered. Um, it's super smooth uh, motorized tray, which is really nice. It actually doesn't scream out at you. It actually is really <laughs> smooth coming out. Um, it's a really quiet CD player, but the highlight, like you said, Armando, was the, the remote control. The thing is like a brick. And I can only imagine if somebody gets really mad and throws that thing. Yeah. Yeah, like this. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, you, you're pretty much uh, out for the count with that, with that thing. So, Ralph, we had an opportunity to uh, test this baby out both at my house. Mm -hmm. I had it for a few days, and then you had it for a few days. So, I guess I'm going to ask you, when you hooked it up, what would you think about it? Um, as soon as I hooked it up, um, the one thing that, I, like I said, I've noticed right away was that it has the XLR put outputs, which is awesome because my receiver has XLR as well. So I grabbed the XLRs, hooked them up immediately through my receiver, and yeah, I started playing some CDs, and I just I was blown away with the sound quality that coming out of this thing. No hissing, no buzzing. I thought I was at a, like a live concert when I was putting my CDs <laughs> on. It was awesome. That's how good this product is. So Armando. 
You had the CD player. What do you think about it? I've never owned a high-quality CD player. Neither have I. So this was definitely something new for me. And now that I've had the opportunity to hook one up in my system and play it through my speakers and my, my, uh, my setup at home, um, yeah, it was, uh, it was literally a, a blown away experience. I mean, it was just super high quality, way better quality than streaming music nowadays. Yeah, I just think it's one of those uh, under talked about physical formats because everybody's either getting into streaming music, the vinyl resurgence, you know, analog physical formats like cassettes and, and reel to reel and stuff like that. So Absolutely. that's kind of my, my, my personal opinion about that. Cool, Ralph. Well, now for some final thoughts. Mm -hmm. Now that we've had uh, the CD player for a while, and we both had an uh, opportunity to play with it, let's uh, let's just give our final thoughts about the uh, about the Emo TV RC4. Absolutely. So right now, for those of you that are curious, it is uh, priced at five ninety nine. Mm -hmm. So you know, a lot of you might be uh, thinking, "Man, this is a pretty expensive CD player," and it really is not. I mean, compared no. to the quality that you're going to get especially with the uh, with the DAC capability there. It's actually not that bad for the price. And for those of you that know Emotiva products in general, probably thinking, man, that's a really good deal. And I think that's kind of the key, right? Emotiva has a pretty good loyal following. So I, I would say that this is a CD player that's gonna be go geared towards an audiophile that has um, a CD collection, and uh, yeah, revitalize those, uh, revitalize that collection. You know, Armando, I have to agree with you on that one. For $5.99, it's really a great product that's geared towards a lot of audiophiles. And you know, I'm an audiophile myself. I own Emotiva products, Armando. And this is probably one of those products that actually stands out. A lot of people look at the price and they kind of get turned off by it, but you know what? You're getting the quality and you're getting the built out of this product. It's It does what it needs to do. Um, like I said, if you have any old CDs that you want to revitalize, give this a try. It's one of the best uh, CD players that I've ever heard. All right, Ralph. Well, I say that uh, concludes our video. Absolutely. So make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification button. And as always, keep, keep it, it hi-fi. Hi Ralph, that's a wrap, man. Absolutely. Well, you be well, right? Yeah, you too. All right, I got to go to the bathroom. All right, go to the bathroom. Hey, bro, how the hell do you use the three seashells? Let me show you.